everybody. So, I don't think you've ever seen me wear glasses on my channel. You might have seen it on Instagram before, but I don't normally wear glasses on my channel because you're probably also seeing that crazy reflection from my lights. So I'm just gonna take them off now, but that brings me to the reason for today's video, and today is Palette of the Month Club, and if you've been around my channel for a while, you know that every month I take one palette and I use it very, very often throughout the month, usually about twice a week, get a good feel for it, and then I do something with it at the end of the month. And this month, or for the month of April at least, it was the Elf Need It Nude Palette. So this is kind of Elf's version of a naked palette. Now this month what I've done with this is I've done my go-to look when I wear glasses. Now this is not necessarily tips and tricks for wearing glasses, although there are a couple of those thrown in, um, but this is just like what I wear when I wear glasses. <laughs> I actually have two kind of go-to looks. One is this one that I'm wearing now, which is a little bit more dramatic, and then the other version of it is much lighter and brighter. And with glasses I find it's weird. I find that some people people look much better in glasses when they keep their eyes very light and bright and other people look much better when they add some drama. So I guess it depends. It's a very weird thing. There's not one thing that works for everybody. So I just wanted to talk about this palette for just a minute just because it is the palette of the month and I will be honest with you, this palette did not inspire me very much at all this month. I don't know, it was a little too neutral for me. I kind of like to step out of that box more often than not, so I kind of felt a little tied down, to be honest, with this palette this month. I do not by any means think it's a bad palette at all. It's just not really my thing. Um, I'm kind of glad that I used it so that I can kind of tell you guys about it a little bit. So I just wanted to show you guys quickly, just in case you were wondering, here is the Naked palette from Urban Decay. Here is the Elf Need It Nude palette. You can see they are not the same at all. In fact, I checked, there are no dupes in this at all. No dupes at all. However, it's still kind of their answer to, well, if somebody needs a really affordable, neutral palette, this is what we're gonna give them. And I think it's good. I think it's good for being such an affordable palette. I believe it's $10. I'll list it in the description just to be sure. Um, here's the thing I don't like about this palette. There's way too much brown, and the browns are not different enough to make having four of them be necessary in this palette. I think this palette has an awesome kind of like all over um, matte, it's not white, it's off white, but it's great for blending and for like a matte highlight. And then it has a really, really good transition shade right here. What I would have liked is to have something more kind of two or three steps darker than this in a matte, for another kind of option for a transition shade instead of having so many browns up here. And I did swatch these out earlier and really the only one that's at all different is this one. This one's a little bit more, more warm and these three are all very cool. But these three, when you apply them, there's almost no difference at all. So that kind of sucks. But these metallic shades like these three, one, two, three, are quite pretty on the lid and Actually, you know what, so is this one here, this orangey one too. So it has really good um, kind of lid shades in this as well. So overall, I would definitely recommend this palette if you are a neutral lover, absolutely. If you like a little bit more color, well then, you might wanna look for something else. So that was the April, you know what I just realized? You might be wondering what this is. That's just my headphones. Does anybody ever do this? Maybe TMI, but I always put my, in my bra. <laughs> That's probably not a good thing to do, but I know a lot of us do it, and those, we're just that with my headphones out of there. Okay, back to the video. <laughs> um, okay, so that was April's palette of the month, and if you're playing along, this is gonna be for May, and I'm very excited. This is the Lorac Pro 2 palette. This is very new to me. I just hauled this very recently in the last two months or so, and I have not been able to use it as much as I would have liked since I got it because I've kind of been focusing on other things, but now I really, really, really can't wait to use this quite a bit this month. Thank you so much for spending time with me, and now we will go into the tutorial. Bye. So all product details will be listed below, but first I'm going in with the 24 karat gold primer from Peter Thomas Roth. This gives everything a really nice luminosity. And I'm just also going in with my Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Water. It gives makeup a little bit more longevity. 
And for my base, I'm going to be using the Guerlain Lingerie Depot BB Cream. I really like this. It starts out a little light, but after a few minutes, it just really adjusts to match things perfectly. It's a really lightweight BB Cream, yet it has a lot of coverage in it, and I really love it. And to color correct my dark circles, I'm going in with the Urban Decay Naked Skin Color Correcting Fluid in Peach. This makes a huge difference in my dark circles. It just neutralizes them so well. And then after that, I'm going to go in with the Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer in Light Neutral. And this has just become my absolute favorite concealer. I go back to this one over and over and over. It's just perfect. So I'm just highlighting my forehead, my chin, and underneath my eyes to bring brightness and lightness to those parts of my face. And this is the NARS Translucent Crystal Setting Powder. Now I am going to bake underneath my eyes, so I'm going to put a lot of powder underneath my eyes on the sides of my nose where my glasses will touch my nose and this is just going to prevent any transfer so I'm going to leave that on very thick for a while and you'll see me brush it off later but I'm just setting the rest of my makeup lightly with that exact same product and I'm just going to do my eyebrows I'm not going to show you that because you've seen it a million times but I'll put the products listed below as well and now's the point at which I'm going to wipe off any of that excess powder so now I'm going to prime my eyelids. This is the Hard Candy Eyeshadow Primer. It's called Eyes the Limit. I'm honestly not sure how I feel about this, but I will be giving you guys an update probably in an upcoming video. And now we're going to go in with the Need It Nude palette. I am going in with the very lightest shade. This is a matte beige and I'm putting it all over my lid just to make everything blend out easier. And then I'm going to go in just with the transition shade, which is kind of a very light pink and just put that all over my crease. And I'm using a very fluffy crease brush for that. I'm going to use this matte brown. It's a very cool tone brown. It is not all that pigmented, but that's okay because you can build it up. And I'm just going to add a little bit of depth in my crease because I want my eye shape to pop through my glasses. So I just want to have a defined crease. And then I'm deciding that I want a little bit more of a dramatic outer V. So that's what I've done. I've just added a little bit more on the outer V there. I'm going to use this very light and bright shade right on the inner corners because I want my eyes to appear bright even though I'm going for a dramatic look. So I'm just going to use a flat brush and lay it down kind of on the inner third. It's a very beautiful bright color. And then I'm going to use this beautiful rose gold and I'm going to put that right in the middle and connect kind of that deeper, darker outer V to that brighter inner third. And it just gives a really nice gradient. You just have to make sure that everything is really well blended, but it is a beautiful color and it takes that brightness to that darkness in a really beautiful way. Now I'm going to do some wing liner. This is the Physicians Formula Eye Booster Eyeliner. It's not the blackest eyeliner there ever was, but I do like it. glasses I always like to give myself bottom eyeliner I just find that it defines my eyes even further and I'm gonna use the star looks jet Lux longwear eye pencil this is super super creamy so what I do is I just use my ring finger and lightly smudge it out you could use a brush but I just go in with my ring finger and then I'm going to this kind of goldy orange and just on a very small brush kind of buffering that out even further which is gonna give it even more of a smudge look but it also gives you some warmth from that gold color as well and now I'm gonna use this single eyeshadow from Essence it's called 01 snowflake and it is a gorgeous gorgeous highlight for your inner corner and also for your brow 
lightly contour my cheekbones with this contour shade in the Maybelline Master Color Palette. And I'm just taking that right under my cheekbone. I'm going to blend it in really well. Go to town on that cheekbone, girl. For blush, this look really calls for a very neutral blush because there's a lot of drama up top and I'm also going to go in with a very bright lipstick. So I'm using the Tarte Bling It On palette and this is the shade Fetching which is a very very natural nude blush but any kind of nude shade will do. And then going in with my trusty Champagne Pop highlight from Becca, it is my true love. set my face before I do mascara maybe I'm weird that way but I just like to do it that way so this is the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea Marine Boosting Mist I really really like it you guys and I'm just also using my Tarte eyelash curler didn't realize I was using so many Tarte products today this is my favorite mascara this is the Urban Decay Perversion it is very separating it's very defining it doesn't have too much volume to it and in retrospect I would have loved false eyelashes with this look but you can't really always deal with that with glasses because they'll hit your lenses so oh well just go with your favorite mascara here and for bottom lashes I use the MAC extended play giga black lash because it doesn't smudge or anything like that and it's my first time using this lipstick this is speak louder from MAC it is just a really unique pink it's not too light, it's not too dark, it's not too vibrant, it's just really pretty, but you can still get away with it for an everyday look. And let me put my glasses on so you can see how it looks with glasses. And here's the point, I realized my glasses were all dirty. So. When I put on my glasses, you can see that my eyes are very defined through the lenses. You can really see my eyes, and this is how I really like to do it. So this is the final look, and I hope that you guys learned something and that this helped, and thanks so much for watching.